I think it's gonna be so worth it and it's gonna be like ending London Fashion Week with a bang. Good morning London! We are officially here for London Fashion Week. In fact, we arrived yesterday. I guess I could call it a morning. We landed around midday. I got home. I had to have a quick shower and we basically headed straight to the first fashion show. It was Mithridate and I didn't have, I feel, the brain capacity to actually start vlogging straight or the energy capacity. But now I'm fully energized, especially because do you want to tell them who's here? Come! Do you want to come and tell them who's here? Come up! Come up! No. You also don't have any more energy. It's the fashion week. Don't worry. But I'm gonna grab you now. And I'm gonna squeeze you. And yes! What? Oh, who's my dog? So, we have a very special guest here for London Fashion Week. For a little short. Yes, I'm talking about you. And actually, <laughs> I just can't refrain myself from touching and cuddling. Are you a bunny or are you a dog or are you both? I don't know how people with dogs actually do any work because I find it very distracting and all I want to do is just play with the dog. Highlights so far of London Fashion Week. Alfie, sing my sister. Sing another favorite person of mine. How did you know I was talking about you? As soon as I heard Alfie, I know you're going to talk about me. You are my favorite, but you're such a big boy now. And um, eight and a half. Eight and a half, that's shocking, shocking. Actually, eight and a half in, in one month. Currently eight and five months. So yes, yesterday we went to a show, Mithridate. I'll insert a little short clip that I have from the show itself because that's kind of what we managed to capture. Went to bed at 9 p.m., basically woke up at 4 a.m. So today's gonna be fun. So today we're taking it kind of easy. We're back at the Cafe Royale, which is my home away from home. I love staying here, it's just so comfortable. I could spend the whole day in bed, basically, with this one. Yes, we're where, did, where are you going? And that's it. We'll take you around. Okay, guys. Energy levels, I'm not gonna lie, are not very high. But that is the jet lag. I could have a nap now and then I would basically stay awake the whole night. That would be the consequence. But it's okay. We're gonna get adjusted. Well, we are <laughs> stuck in traffic on our way to JW Anderson Fitting. So the show is the day after tomorrow. And I'm gonna pick a cute look. So let's see. I always forget how far everything is in London. Like everything takes long to get to but it's all good because actually i'm very comfy and cozy in the car doing emails choosing looks for milan fashion week already some of them look like it's completely unrealistic to be able to do all fittings for all the shows in milan so some of them i'm just selecting from the lookbook that's what i'm doing and then yeah we'll see what we got at jw anderson I love that. This is so is cute. So I love this. Yes. And I love neoprene. Yeah. So nice. I already wore this, right? No. no. It's similar. It was, it, yeah, similar. No. Also, I love this. I looked at this also. Very nice. Beautiful, this one. Mm. But you know what? I think I'm going to try this. Yeah. I really love it. Yes. And we put some really cool accessories. Yes. And done. Oh my God, look at this fish. Isa, what's your horoscope sign? Pisces. Yes, same Pisces queen. I was very confused. I tried on this mint look and normally I'm like, yes, that's it, I know it. But I wasn't sure this time. Something in my stomach I was like, try something else on. So we're trying something else on now. We need a bag. Okay guys, several hours later, we did the fitting today. We're kind of trying to organize everything else around before the fashion week madness starts. I am actually wearing this Galvan London dress because we are going out for the Galvan London uh, boutique opening. This is the dress, but I think I'll be cold if I go just like this, maybe a little bit. It's like a very mermaidy, gorgeous. I don't know if you can see on the camera the actual shine of the material, but it's really, really stunning. It's very, very long. So I had to wear my super long heels and a blazer over it. That's basically very simple, chic look. We're going to, I believe it's New Bond Street and we're gonna have like enjoy around the cocktail a little bit and then I'm gonna come home and sleep because even though it's 7 p.m., I'm totally ready for it.
Good morning, guys. It is officially, I don't even know the which of London Fashion Week, but today we have a few shows. We're going to start the day with Nancy the jacket fitting. So we're gonna go to her studio to pick a look for the show. And then I'm gonna have my hair done, thankfully, because, you know. After that, we have a David Coma show and this evening Richard Quinn show. So coffee first. I hydrated my face. I'm gonna have to mask later before hair, but after the fitting, perhaps and then yeah we'll take you with us what a surprise so let's get ready okay guys off we go coffee in one hand phone in the other hand because posting and you know energizing i guess i'm wearing uh, my beloved magda butram coat new balance trusty shoes you know like it's a bit of a neutral look this will take a bag i feel like i don't wear it enough and you know in summertime i'm probably not gonna want to wear a suede bag so i want to make the most out of it while i can and that's it we're going to the nancy show the chauffeur is outside and we're ready to roll Okay guys, why fittings are important? We just finished fitting with Nancy Dujaka and initially we kind of like were talking about the dress that I was gonna wear by email. So Nancy sort of picked the dress for me and I was like, oh, I don't think I can wear this dress. It's a little bit too see-through for me. So they were like, okay, no worries. Like come to the studio and we do some fittings, right? So then I went in and I tried the dress. I was like, let's just try it out of curiosity. And actually I really like the dress. It, it was not as see-through as I thought it would be. I think it's really kind of gorgeous with my tan at the moment you know like all of that kind of looked quite it's quite glamorous but it's beautiful and I think that will be the last show for us of London Fashion Week so it's quite a nice way to end it with the sparkle and with the band and then we saw Nancy she's the cutest like I really really love her you know when like someone is just so talented and hardworking and humble at the same time but her talent is just I really love her I want her to like have the sea of success and obviously you guys know how much I love her dresses I could never not show you a dress and then she also gave me these like magazines this was from the spring summer 23 so from the last fashion show uh september one they had the photographer that did all the kind of like backstage shots i think maybe the dress will be there that i also tried on that i love and that i'm gonna buy i, I was like is this dress out because i want to buy it but i don't think it's out yet we'll show you a picture or some footage of that other dress because uh, it's here it's so gorgeous i think it looked better on me <laughs> just kidding and yeah i mean you know Nancy also said I'm their favorite not to like you know no I'm just kidding I mean she did say it but you know uh, she also gave me this poster which I don't want to open now because I feel like if I open it now I will never be able to put it back together but it's really 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 gorgeous and I'm so happy to attend the show tomorrow okay guys we're getting ready for our first like big show david coma is this here from larry king sent her here so she came to do my hair and we agreed before that we're gonna do a wet look and she seems very much on my page so we're gonna use some like amazing dyson tools you guys know that i've been working with dyson for a very long time now and i'm one of their ambassadors which makes me very proud so this is just preparing the tools let's see what we got here we got a supersonic we got the corral and i think we're gonna do like sort of like wet with a bit of texture also because the look is gonna be very fierce and then after like for tonight i'm going to richard quinn and it's gonna like perfectly work for both of the shows so we're ready and we're gonna see how it's gonna turn out in a moment Guys, I am obsessed with the hair. It's like a wet look, but kind of like a soft and wavy. Like I had this picture of Bella Hadid as an inspiration. And then I sent it to Izzy last night, who was like, yes, don't worry, we're gonna do it. And literally she got it, you know? She understood the assignment. And this is what we got. I love it. We're gonna remove the pins. I need to retouch my makeup quickly. Actually, I haven't even applied really makeup this morning, to be honest. And my dress is so extra that I need a little bit of drama, not too much because we don't wanna overpower everything so i'm gonna do a little bit of retouch and then we're gonna head to david coma let's do it look at this how gorgeous we use basically like she applied like the product every layer then dried it with supersonic just to kind of like get like you know the speed and also like to be gentle to the hair and then in the end to get the wave she did it with a coral like a bit of soft kind of breaking love it okay guys old dress i love this david coma dress it's like a short like long sleeves but it has this beautiful like when you see it on the hanger you can't even understand how gorgeous it is 
as on. Hopefully we'll have some more footage when we get to the show. But on our way there, the show is basically starting in around 15 minutes. I think we'll be just about on time. And um, it's like drizzling in London. Is that kind of weekend that you want to spend in bed, but not us? Because we are on it. We're, I'm actually impressed. We're still kind of going with high spirits. We're doing well, very happy. So yeah, David Coma. And um, then we're going to eat, which I'm actually very excited for because we're going to have my favorite Chinese. I want to talk us through what you're wearing. Oh, okay, um, wearing a full go. <laughs> This is it's the mic for me. This is my moment. <laughs> Hello. It's for you. Um, Tell me. I'm wearing a full David Coma. Love it. And she shark boots. This this Bottega bag is so good. So cute, right? It fits. Love it. A lot. Okay. And Fendi and Skims. <gasps> Gorgeous. Okay, so mine is like mine is David Coma dress. Yeah. That's Saint Laurent boots, Saint Laurent bag. I think I reached my new low. It's 3 p.m. I arrived at the show and I told everybody good morning. I mean, like why? I really don't understand why. I feel like also it's because we. I don't know. I've been just telling everybody good morning, but technically, in my defense, it is morning in New York. So I maybe I'm just running on that time zone. Guys, this is the reality of fashion week, okay? Finished the David Coma show, still in my glam, but I'm starving. And I ordered my favorite Chinese that I told you. I got chicken with cashews, rice, and this is like soup that is delicious. Gonna quickly eat this, then probably change, then go to Richard Quinn. And then there's the David Coma after party for which I have another look. So it's a long day, but I'm so ready, especially now when I have the food. So I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna update you later. So it is almost seven o'clock. We are en route to Richard Quinn and I'm wearing Richard Quinn. As you can see, I'm wearing the same boots as before, but I've changed up a bag because I wanted it. I didn't want it to look too dressy. I wanted it to also add a bit of like, you know, coolness. I love this snack. It has like a special touch. I don't know if you can see, I hope you can see because I think it's really amazing. And the material of this dress is just so fabulous. So that's that. Let's get into the revolving door, into our car and ready for the show. We arrived at the most spectacular. I've been to this venue so many times for the shows, but it's been completely transformed for Richard Quinn. I am speechless. Obviously, you've seen my look, I believe, before. But like, look at these flowers. Look at the venue. There's like live musicians. I am. I can't. But yeah, show your look. Show your look. Show your look. Come, come, come. Look at this, you guys. How gorgeous. Oh, look, he's talking, honey. I love this look. And Nina's look too. Come, Nina. Come, Nina. With your flowers. I'm obsessed. I just don't want to get attached to you guys to ruin it but this is there. we're like wearing black i love this Are women in black <laughs> <laughs> Outfit number four or five today. Back in David Coma, I'm wearing this red dress for the after party tonight. It's a tafta with some crystals around the waist. It's very snatched, I'm not gonna lie. There's not much moving, so I have to be like this tonight. Um, we're going for the after party. It's going to be like a very small little celebration with like David and the friends. And I think I'm going to update you tomorrow morning. So bye bye. Good morning day. I don't even know which day anymore of London Fashion Week. We got Izzy back who is doing my hair. We got some amazing Dyson tools as well, as you can see. And um, we have a plan for today's hair. We're actually going to be changing it twice because I have four shows today. So I wish your girl good luck because there's going to be a lot of back to back today. It's going to be very, very intense. Gotta trust the right. Don't have to be 
Okay guys, dressed in JW Anderson. Looks like it's a sunny day in London. Can you see there's like a little streak of light? We have a ton of things to do. I had my hair done. I love it. It's a bit of a high bun. We did a bit of like a curl using Coral actually and uh, then tightened the bun on top. One is to be a bit like, you know, half up, half down because for later on we'll be changing the hair for Nancy show. The look, I mean, I'm loving this uh, JW look. I love the skirt. It's available now. I will link actually the look below so you guys can check it out so we're gonna go probably in regent street to take some pictures and oh, we have so many things to do actually we have like three shows back to back i am a little bit scared i always wonder why i fill my calendar so much not to sell not to do it next season but the shows that we're going to are very good so we're bringing the outfits bringing my bag i'm gonna put a pair of sunglasses on and we're gonna get going so let's do it let me just show you a one other look of the hair so you can see it better some of my friends have texted me Ronnie, yes, I'm talking about you saying like I'm copying all of your glam and all of your hair looks. So there we go. That's that. Guys, it took me five minutes. I changed completely new Tamara. Sorry about beeping noise, but something. I think we have one door open. Got my Ardem look that they sent me for the show. Got my Laya bag, my Prada shoes. We have the JW Anderson here, and we are going to enter the show. Just like looking what's going on outside. I mean, it is a bit early, but let's go. Guys, I just got dressed in the car and let me tell you, it was really hard to get into this body. But I feel like, I hope it's good because I can't even see it. But it's gorgeous. It's from Tove and we're going to the Tove show. We're like three minutes away. I ripped also a large amount of my hair trying to put it on because you know like when something is like stretchy and then you have to do it. So I don't even know. I hope my hair is still in place. Getting changed, putting on the shoes. As you can see, this is the third look of the day and it's 12.57 or technically fourth look of the day if we count the pajamas. I'm gonna repack the bag. We're now going for this Valentino gorgeousness. I love this little cute. Ooh, I already had like a lip oil inside. I'm actually excited. This is the last back-to-back -back show. Then we're gonna change the hair look and then we're going for Nancy, the jacka, which is always, always one of my highlights of London Fashion Week. The look will be insane. Just wait and see. I think it's gonna be so worth it and it's gonna be like ending London Fashion Week with a bang. Now I'm finally going to attempt to finish my coffee for the day because I've been drinking it since 10 and we're going to the last show of the morning. Tobe, let's go. Yeah, 
Okay, guys, there's a like, tiniest little break in the schedule. One hour, and that's enough for us to do a hair little, what do you call it? Like a new hairstyle, basically. For my Nancy the Jacka, which will be my closing show of London Passion Week, I'm wearing this gorgeous, completely see-through dress. And we wanted the like hair to kind of match it in a way that it balances it so that it's not like too sexy or too anything. While getting my hair done, I'm also transferring all the content already and posting the stories. And and then in around 40 minutes time when I'm changed and all that will be leaving to the show. And after that, I think I'm going to have a big portion of Nando's, but not before because my dress is completely see-through. So if I have like a, a big portion of Nando's, I don't think it's gonna look um, all that good for, for the show. Or maybe I'll have a salad. I should have something healthy in, I think. Anyway, we'll decide about that later. First things first, hair. We'll show you what we're doing now. Guys, remember how I told you that my Nancy dress is very extra, very see-through. I we're just figuring out how I'm gonna pose without revealing everything, but I think this would work well. And um, I'm really, I really love it. In real life, it doesn't look so see-through, but we're using like a light to kind of, you know, and then with the light, it's just a bit extra. But you know, it is what it is. It's my last show, London Fashion Week, and I was like, let's go all out. Okay, guys, that was Nancy the Jacka. The show was, I mean, it, there was so much good stuff. Like, first we entered and the menu was, like, all red and the final walk was also red. There was a lot of, like, kind of, there was some continuation from the past season, like, the look that I tried on at the studio day one or something like that was, like, full in sequence, like, a little jumpsuit. And, you know, there was, I really like that she always, like, introduces new looks, but it's always true to herself. I mean, this dress i honestly love it so much like i mentioned i'll link it below so you guys can check it out I had like a cool hair so i felt really really good i just you know like for me london always hits differently people sometimes ask me like why do you even do london fashion week it's you know if you do like milan in paris you kind of cover all the like most important brands in the fashion industry but if i'm very honest with you i feel like because i started my career in the uk i think i will always consider myself sort of like a uk influencer all of my relationships were built here i learned i went to the first fashion shows here i learned so much about the industry here and i will always consider this like a home game so i feel like also for like someone that considers themselves a uk influencer to not attend london fashion week it's like it would be a sin for me to skip like shows like jw anderson or nancy chaka or erdem you know like all of these like amazing amazing shows that I personally feel honored to attend so it was an amazing day I really enjoyed it and that was the last show but I'm not gonna finish the vlog here because I feel like I have a lot more stuff to share with you guys we're in Piccadilly Circus now so I'll let you actually look out of the window a little bit now Okay guys, I'm a bit sad that you didn't see a room service that I ordered. That now is making me a little bit food coma-ish, but it's okay because I actually just ate like healthy stuff like minestrone soup and quinoa salad today and some broccolis for the side, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Well, I wanted Nando's, but it was very disappointing because they didn't have a, what did they not have? Mushroom. Mushrooms. But I have something very excited to put back the smile on my face. I got lots of gifts from Misuma London. By lots, I mean a, like a lot. And you guys know, this is like, by the way, fully organic. I love the brand so much and I just wanted to show you what I got. You guys know that my favorite collection from them is the Harry Street one. And I can already see that there are some Harry Street stuff. So I wanted to see what's in here. 
<laughs> it's also like such a perfect timing. Oh, this is gorgeous. I have something similar and I love it. Perfect timing for fashion week. So I actually have the Harry Street pearl necklace with this like hand holding the round thing symbol. I'll link below everything that I show you, but I haven't actually got this exact one. So it's just a little bit different. I'm gonna put it on right away. I haven't got anything around my neck. There we go, love it, love it, love it, love it. Really gorgeous, I have to say. Then in the second little pouch, Oh, it's same, but it looks kind of like a JD green. This is so, so beautiful. Like if you like me, like some of the more colorful stones, I love this. Okay, I'm gonna make this one a bit tighter if I can without a mirror and anything else. So this is the green one, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Then should I show everything right now? I don't think I'm gonna show you everything because some of the things I have to keep as a surprise, okay? So I'll show you some of the bits, but I'm picking and choosing what I'm gonna show you. I'm keeping some of the things for Paris Fashion Week. I know why, because I actually want... <gasps> This is so good. I need to hide from Filippo because I know that he's gonna wanna steal some as well. Some of the things I want to reveal during Paris Fashion Week. You know, I have to like diversify. I have to, this is so freaking beautiful. If I'm gonna be able to, maybe I can just show you one. Now I'll keep, I'll keep, I'll keep. I'll keep the surprise coming. Okay, so for now, I will show you my two new Harris Street necklaces. I will link them below so you can check them out. I really, really love them. They're so gorgeous, love them. And the rest, you'll have to wait and see. Guys, it is a new morning. I don't think we vlogged last night after I after I did my little unboxing. I went to everybody was like very busy. I had like 350 pictures to go through, which is not that much, but I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so I really like took my time. We had like all the like video footage to go through, a lot of packing. I mean, this suitcase is I think the heaviest suitcase ever, but in my defense, it's been 2 weeks of traveling. I have to be very honest, I cannot wait to get rid of this stuff to put it all in wash because i'm sick of everything that's in here and i just want to kind of like get back to my wardrobe and my stuff and you know the feeling right i really enjoyed this london fashion week i know it was a little bit different well i feel like london fashion week always something happens like you know the last one half of the shows were like rescheduled or cancelled this one is also a little bit different but always is so nice to be back in london and especially like after new york in the time zone you know so i really really enjoyed it i really enjoyed sharing it with you I hope you saw something that you like and I am gonna see you in Milan. We are going to have a very busy season, a very good one, very promising, Fendi Gucci Prada, all the good stuff, and I'll see you there. Bye!